Welcome back to DXB today where we've definitely had one of the most spirited debates when it comes to veganism. But now it's time for some peace offering. All right, guys, so loosen up. Joining us now is a plant-based recipe developer and content creator who loves to share her passion for plant-based foods. Please welcome to the show, Miral Jabouri. Miral, thank you so much. Thank for you for coming on the show. Well, what a pleasure. Thank you very very excited now i i'm an amateur home cook i enjoy cooking and my background is indian i come from india and i always tell people that if you like vegetarian or plant-based food it's good to be indian because we have a wide variety of dishes when it yeah. comes to um vegetarian dishes because traditionally we were vegetarians uh, yes so tell us a little bit uh, about the inspiration behind your sort of recipes I think I have, um, it's been a journey, but I definitely try to incorporate traditional Middle Eastern recipes because I believe I'm trying to bridge the gap between people that want to still eat their traditional food and have the flavors, but in, you know, plant-based. Um, so I definitely incorporate Middle Eastern dishes, but I also, also incorporate international recipes that are for every day, like whether it's quick recipes um, or healthy snacks that anybody can enjoy, whether you're plant-based or not. I mean, speaking of snacks, I see some muffins. I mm -hmm. see some food on the table. I want to eat them. Uh, what are they? Are they all plant-based, these muffins? Uh, they are all plant-based. And I just wanted to highlight a few things. For the muffins, I have, um, so it's plant-based. So you've got, instead of dairy, I'm using um, uh, plant-based milks. Instead of the egg, I'm using a flax egg. And then I've also made it even healthier. So instead of sugar, I've sweetened it with dates, banana, and pure maple syrup. Instead of oil, I've also used nut butters. Mm -hmm. So I've just really tried to use wholesome ingredients that are like, you know, got a lot of nutrients and- Well, I think I'm gonna this. partake in one. Yep, yep, so there's yep. two kinds, yeah. That's a chocolate chip. There's chocolate chip and uh, blueberry muffins. Thank so just you. take your pick. Okay. Morel, I wanted to just jump in and yeah. ask you, like you mentioned there, like using like alternatives in your recipes. Yes. So what would you advise somebody who is looking for, let's say like a meat alternative right. in a plant-based diet? They're looking to get, you know, the protein, for example. What would you recommend? Right, so there's many different ways of approaching it. Um, I'll just try to name a few. So you can definitely get, if you're looking after, looking for protein, you can just uh, look, try to incorporate ingredients that are high in protein, like mm -hmm. your beans and lentils and legumes and nuts and nut butters, so that you can get directly from plants. If you're looking for like certain substitutes, so for example, if you really miss, you know, chicken, you can use jackfruit as an ingredient that used commonly um, to mimic like shredded chicken. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, you can also season it and it takes on the flavors of any kind of spices or, you know, marination that you add to it. Um, and there is also store-bought ingredients that you can buy. So there are the highly processed, um, you know, alternatives, but there is like, you know, better, good quality uh, store-bought products now out in the market. Um, so like Switch is a brand that's actually UA, UAE mm -hmm. found like a, a brand that uses pea protein, pea powder um, to create the, you know, the, um, the burger patty or um, uh, the minced meat. So there's a lot of different options. Um, and again, there's different options for whether it's chicken, meat, minced meat, burger, there's like different alternatives. Um, and yeah, you can find some alternatives that are high in protein or you can find ones that are just mimicking that texture or feel. So you've got options. Do you this, find this oh. is delicious, by the way. Oh, mm. oh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> what flower is this? So that's and something else I also didn't mention. So I use oat flour. So mm. for a, like a healthier um, option, I use oat flour than the refined. Very moist, flour. very, very moist. I'm happy to hear that. I thought I was going to have a couple of bites. I think I'm going to finish the muffin <laughs> right on the sofa. Happy to hey, we're going to eat. Why don't you <laughs> ask the other question? So just one question with you yes. is obviously you've, you've grown up in the Middle East. Yes. Um, and what made you end up going plant-based then? So actually it was during Corona, the doom and gloom. We were, um, we, we were in lockdown and I was just not in the healthiest states and I just wanted to use my energy to, to something, you know, towards something that's uh, useful. So I, I read the book, How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. So it talks about the top 15 causes of death globally um, and then the link of diet and lifestyle. And then the second half is talking about what is a plant-based diet and how can eat in a, you know, in a, a responsible, holistic way to get everything that you need nutritionally. 
And honestly, uh, really, like uh, it makes sense to me. It's all evidence-based. It's all about you know nutrition facts. And I just gave it a shot, tried it out, and it really suited me. And I really haven't looked back since. I just really enjoy it. I feel good. So I've you know I'm I'm you know just enjoying it. So so curious when you do dine out, what yes. are your options? Honestly, we're very. I'm very lucky to be living in Dubai because we are spoiled for choices. 100%. So there are a lot of restaurants like Replica is an amazing restaurant. Siva, uh, there are so many different restaurants that have just plant-based food. But also now, like in all the restaurants, like there is sometimes there is a plant-based menu or there is oh you know plant-based options. And so I've not been, I've never struggled with finding options. But I think depending on where you are in the world, there might be certain limitations and then that's where i feel like personally you need to be a bit flexible and work with what you've got um so that you can sustain it long term if it becomes difficult then obviously you know that's not doing gonna do anybody good yeah do you feel that you miss out on anything after going plant-based honestly no i think because of all the um brought, like all the products that are out in the market that are actually like a burger patty not a vegetable patty like a burger patty or or chicken uh nuggets and stuff like i think i because i have those occasionally then i don't feel like i'm missing out i think if those weren't available to us today we're so blessed then perhaps i would have you know like i would really miss it but i think really the options today like have made it, uh, you can really uh, ad adopt it, adapt it and sustain it, um, so. Well, yeah, Miral, the muffins were absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Sahir. You've been fantastic. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much for being with us on DXB today. Thank you, But Pleasure. before you go, mm -hmm. uh, we're actually gonna put uh, Thay on the spot with the DXB in 60 quiz, Amy. <laughs> yes, Thay, we want to get to know you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You might not have been warned about this. We like to put you on the spot. <laughs> so we're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock and I'm gonna ask you some quick fire questions. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, Thay, your number one ingredient in the kitchen. Tofu. Your go-to comfort food. Lentil bolognese. Your favorite movie, series or book? Gilmoggles. <laughs> Favorite place I'm to wind here. down. <laughs> Favorite place to wind down after a stressful day. Oh, Kite Beach. Good place to go. Favorite restaurant in Dubai. Oh, I barely eat out. Um, think say. So. Siva. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Favorite food destination for vegan food. Greece. Greece. Okay, interesting. Who is your biggest inspiration? My father. If you could have dinner with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? My grandmother. And why Dubai? Why I'm here. Why, yeah, why did you choose to be here? Why? Because I had moved my head office from <laughs> South Africa to Dubai. Do you think, I mean, do you think it's a great place to like kind of introduce Look, I've everybody been... to plant-based? 100%, I've been here for 10 years. The first three years when I turned plant-based, there was absolutely nothing. The progression now, mind, mind blown. Yeah, definitely. Hey, very well done. Thank you so much for coming on the show and for that very, very spirited debate. You definitely put up a very good fight. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, once again, Miral, thank you so thank much you. for treating us to these love. I hope you're not going to take them back. No, 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 no. <laughs> thank you so much for coming Pleasure. on the show. Pleasure. Right, please don't go anywhere just yet because Pablo the Sensei will be performing for us live.